I'm going to demonstrate my guitar technique with special tremolo um, by comparing uh, a riff from the liturgy song High Gold to a riff from Dark Thrones Transylvania Hunger. So, um, special tremolo, uh, you know, it's, it's a very simple technique. You know, all it really is is playing higher up on the neck. Um, though people really don't think to do it. Uh, th that's beginning to change, actually, like, just as of this year. I feel like there are more black metal bands doing it, but, like, usually you kind of play around here, and uh, pretty much uh, that's... So, okay, so first of all, tremolo picking is just the, right? it's just like your right hand is going um so like for example so here's here's dark thrones transylvanian hunger right song uh in some circles and um the uh you know that's usually where your hand goes when you're playing black metal sort of ordinary tremolo um and this is the 12th fret of the guitar for those who don't know and usually really in any kind of electric guitar music people will mostly play chords sort of below the 12th fret and then above the 12th fret, people use it a lot, but they just use it for guitar solos, for, for playing single notes. And what I've always intuitively done in liturgy is, uh, like, just kind of, kind of always, uh, it's kind of been almost a point, or uh, it's just always seemed obvious to me to play up here. So, like, high gold is... Uh, and like in almost every liturgy song at some point, I'll get to like the very highest fret on the guitar. Uh, like, and I'm always a little bit disappointed. When I'm writing the songs, I always kind of want to get higher. And it's always like, I always sort of have to like wrestle with the fact that the neck won't go any higher. So um, that's okay, that's just a limitation. Um, so this might be interesting to kind of break down also. So the guitar, uh, the guitar has a very similar range to cello. It's a little different. It actually has almost the exact same range as the counter tenor voice, uh, which is my voice range. I'm kind of noticing as I sing more that I have the exact same range as the guitar. So it goes from, the open strings go from E2 to E4. Uh, and then to E4. E and E. And then... Uh, this is E5, which is kind of the highest comfortable note for counter tenor. And then... Um, that's... This is C6, which people... people. This is the kind of... It's a very famous note in classical music. It's soprano C. I can like... <clears throat> it's got a little bit out of my range, but... Um, you know, like this is, like people love this note. It's like a cherished note, soprano C. Uh, and ch cello, uh, cello can get up to about here. Uh, it sort of almost gets to soprano C, but not quite. And uh, viola and violin play it very comfortably. And um, so, you know, as you can see, uh, high gold. <laughs> not in 
uh, C, it's in uh, D, uh, but it's right around there. Uh, and like, you know, uh, like gener generation uh, is... Um, this is just kind of like where my hand lives uh, while I'm playing, and uh, like, yeah, I, you know, uh, this is a really beautiful range for guitar, and um, I'm not really sure, I feel like I should have something more to say about it. I, I, I guess maybe what it, uh, I guess, I mean, I wonder why it isn't used more. I, I guess it, maybe it's because it sounds so beautiful. Uh, and a lot of people who make black metal, uh, even though the music is kind of like beautiful in spite of itself, that the aesthetics are more intentionally about being ugly, um, I mean, maybe it's like a masculine versus feminine kind of thing, like, I, I don't really know, um, but, um, yeah, there's just so much untapped potential up here, uh, and, uh, yeah, nothing, not difficult to understand, not difficult to do, it is a little difficult to do, you'll, you'll notice, or you won't notice, but, um, this is, so, this is actually, I have a special guitar, so, uh, on a standard guitar, the one problem is that these frets are very small. They're actually, like, a little smaller than your fingers, and, um, I, I used to play a Gibson SG, uh, and I still do sometimes, but, uh, and I really had to get used to the fact that, like, my hand would be really crumpled playing up here. And something I got used to, uh, then in the past year or two, I, I kind of accidentally realized that if you play a baritone guitar, so this is my reverend, uh, baritone guitar, they actually gave me one, uh, though I'm not, I'm not saying this because of that, but, um, uh, uh, because it's a longer scale, this is like a kind of short scale baritone, so the, the neck is longer than your average regular guitar, and so these frets are bigger. Um, and so I usually use string a baritone guitar with tighter strings and you tune them to lower pitches. That's why it's, it's like baritone rather than, I guess like tenor, or I don't really know what a regular guitar is supposed to be, tenor, alto. Um, uh, and, uh, this, yeah, this one I string, I string a baritone guitar with the strings that you would use on an ordinary guitar, and that makes it easier to do, uh, special tremolo, uh, comfortably, but it's also easy to do, relatively easy to do if you get used to it, on an ordinary guitar, um, yeah, I guess the maybe last thing is that, like, you know, I'm comparing this to classical music and soprano C and all that sort of stuff, and I, I guess maybe what I like about it, though this is kind of an insight I'm sort of putting together after the fact, is that uh, that, that resonance between the electric guitar and the string orchestra that it just sort of is spontaneously there in black metal is really uh, amplified by general tremolo, and so since I'm very interested in binding those two forms of music together, uh, using like, uh, you know, using like um, potentials, untapped potentials in the materials uh, that uh, they're kind of made of, so that there, it kind of happens deliberately, but also naturally. It's not a sort of unnatural copying and pasting. Um, general tremolo is valuable for that.